Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll try to cover the main concept of mechanics which is related to forces. It's unit number 3, mechanics, grade 9, and we'll try to provide a summary for chapter 8, equilibrium of a body subjected to two forces. Let's start with some of the forces that we usually deal with in our daily life. If we try to start with the first picture, as you can see, any free falling object will be attracted towards the ground. This is due to the gravitational force done by the earth. If we try to kick the ball, the earth will try to attract this object again towards the ground. So this is the gravitational force or we can call it the weight. How to draw the weight? We take the center of the gravity of the object and we direct a vector vertically downward towards the ground. The gravity over the surface of the earth is approximately 9.81 newton per kilogram. As long as we move further from the earth, the gravity will decrease. As a summary, any free falling object will be under the first force, which is the gravitational force or the weight. It's towards the ground in direction. The second force, which is the magnetic force. Magnets can attract other magnets or repel other magnets and also they can attract metals or irons. What about electric force? Usually if we try to rub any rod or ruler by a piece of cloth, this will create charges or redistribution of charges. These charges can attract some pieces of paper and this force can be named as electric force. Let's try to take a new force right now. If we have a sphere connected to a spring, the first force acting on the sphere is the gravitational force or the weight. The weight will be directed vertically towards the ground downwards. At the same moment, at the same time, the spring will try to push the object upwards or to hold the object upwards by a force which is named as the tension force or the elastic force. So here in the first figure, the weight will be directed towards the ground downwards, while the tension force will be acting upwards along the spring. These two forces, in this case, since it's equilibrium, they are equal in magnitude. The second force, which is the force of friction. Once we try to push on the brakes, this will create a friction force with the ground. This force is resistive. It's almost against the direction of motion. Some of the forces that we deal with in our daily life is the muscular force. And this force is characterized by its direction, magnitude, and line of action, similar to other forces. One of the forces is the force done by the wind over a sailing boat. And if we have any object, on a shelf, there must be a normal force acting against the weight of this object. So in this case, the weight will be directed downwards, while the normal force will be directed upwards. Also, these two forces will be equal in magnitude. Now let's try to check electric force. Here we have two objects. One of them is the rod, which is positively charged, and the sphere, which is negatively charged. First, as usual, the weight will be directed towards the ground, which is the gravitational force, the second force, which is the tension force acting along the wire, and at the end we have the electric force. It's the force of attraction between opposite charges. Here in this figure we have an object sliding along an inclined plane. For sure we have the weight, the normal force 
and finally we have the friction force which acts opposite to the direction of motion or against the direction of motion the object is sliding downwards then the friction force will be acting upwards against the motion of this object for sure here in this figure you can see that we have an object floating over the surface of water so we have two forces the weight and the buoyant force in the other figure we have an object connected to a spring so we have the weight and the tension force here you can see that we have a ball which is subjected to a force by the football player at the same time a force will be subjected over the head of this player so here acts the principle of interaction and as we said concerning the principle of interaction let's take the second example in this example the rocket will be pushing the gases backwards at the same time the rocket will be moving forward so this is an action and a reaction the principle of interaction states that if an object a exerts a force on an object b at the same time object b or body b exerts a force on object a while these forces have the same line of action opposite direction but same magnitude in this example object a is exerting a force on b we call it f a on b at the same time object b will be exerting an opposite force on a knowing that these forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction having the same line of action which is a vertical line in this case the vector form states that the sum of these two forces will be equal to zero or they add up to zero since this object is at equilibrium the vector form also can tell us that they have opposite direction but they have the same magnitude finally the conditions of equilibrium states that the two forces must have the same line of action they must be opposite in direction but having the same magnitude that's all, thank you.